What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I wanted to try my hand at wrapping some things. So, I got my station set up over here. Um, I got two different types of wrap. This one's like a glossy carbon fiber finish, and this one is a matte carbon fiber finish. I think I'm gonna like this a lot more. There's more of it. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking, instead of going full roof, since I don't really know what I'm doing yet, I'm going to try my hand at some interior pieces like these guys, probably all the vent, all the vents, and then this guy, the shifter trim here, um, and just see how it turns out. And I bought a longer piece because why not try something out of the car too? So I'm gonna do the trunk trim as well, and we're gonna see how that uh, how that turns out. But I got my station set up with some IPA microfiber towel. I have my heat gun, my wrapping stuff, and then I'm going to start taking off the uh, the trunk trim here, pull it out, and we're gonna get it cleaned up and try our hand at wrapping that. I'll show you guys the process along the way. I'm not an expert, so we're gonna see how it turns out. If I don't like it, I can always take it off, but we're gonna give it a shot here and see, see how everything turns out, so. So for taking off the trunk trim, it seems that there's four eight millimeter nuts holding on through there and two pop clips. So it should be pretty simple to take off. Oh, so got it. <laughs> so it was just those, these four nuts and then just grab underneath on both of these guys and pull up and it comes right out. There's no more trunk trim. So, we're gonna put this guy over here on the table. And we're gonna get them all cleaned up with some IPA, make sure everything is as clean as it can be. And I think my plan of attack here is lay the film just across here and kind of just work it in all over the place. These are gonna be the tricky spots right down here on the curved edges and curving it up here. But I think with enough heat and enough patience, it should be able to uh, look really good. So I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod and then I'm gonna clean this guy up and start the whole wrapping process. There's the first piece done. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well for my first time ever wrapping anything, so let's have a peek here. All 
Well, as you can see in those shots, the it's not 100% perfect by any means because it is my first time ever doing it, but I think it turned out really well for $16 and an hour of my time. So instead of buying a $250 one off of, you know, either Subi Speed or Import Image Racing or anything like that, and you learn along the way. So, I mean, that just puts tools in my tool belt to be able to do my roof by myself and possibly my hood scoop and everything just to make everything look really nice. So let's throw it back on the car and see how it looks on the, on the trunk. All right, everybody. I think that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Um, so I went and I took the shifter trim off and it seems to be connected on the inside. Uh, another piece on the inside where the leather is connected. And if I took it apart, all the leather would fall out. Um, I'm kind of running out of time today and I didn't want to have to deal with that. So what I ended up doing is I just put it back and I will be able to wrap it another day when I have some more time. Um, I did clean the car today. So it's super pretty, super clean. Um, let me open up the garage real quick and I will show you guys what the finished product of the wrapped um, trunk trim looks like. Ties in real nice with the, the emblem. So that's what the finished product looks like. I think it turned out really well. Um, for my first time wrapping anything, I believe that that was dead on 100% done really well. Um, so a couple things since I'm gaining the skills of wrapping things. Um, like I said in previous videos, I want to wrap the, the roof carbon, which is I heard carbon is one of the hardest ones to lay because you have to get the weaves like correct. Uh, I understand that completely, but I was also thinking of doing just some some random stuff like maybe these these little side pocket things, um, just to do some accenting around the car because I do have the carbon fiber um, emblems front and back. So just let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you want to see more of this type of content. I would really love to you know, broaden my horizons and experience because you don't get good at it overnight. You know, you have to keep doing it and keep trying, but um, let me know what you think in the comments. Well, now you guys know what the finished product looks like. And for being a first time, you know, wrapping anything for my first time, I think it went really well. Um, it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. It's very tedious. And so for all you people out there watching this that you know, you might have never done it before either and you're thinking about it, but you're kind of hesitant. I know there's a lot of you that have experience in doing this stuff and they're really well versed and good on you guys because it doesn't happen overnight. So to those people who are trying to do it and looking out and thinking, you know, maybe I should, but are just real hesitant, just do it. Just jump right into it, you know, even if it's vlogging for the first time or just modding your car and, you know, you never, never had the experience to do it. Just jump right into it. Learn along the way. That's what the internet's for. That's what we have friends for, to figure things out. But the feeling of satisfaction that you get after you know, completing one step of a project and it's all starting to come together, that's a great feeling. And I think everybody should be able to feel that. Um, so don't be hesitant. Jump in, learn, do the best that you can. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters is you did your best. So. If you guys want to see more content like this, let me know down in the comments below. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I'm trying to be in it for the long haul, so if you guys want more content like this, let me know in the comments. And thank you guys for sticking around and watching to the end of this video. I appreciate all of you, and I'll catch you in the next upload.